has to be good news. It has to be good news. report. This is what will tell me if Becky's cancer. Hello, Becky. It needs a little bit more time. Yes. Needs, the juices need to bubble yeah. through. I got it. Right. Yeah. Hey, there you two are. Hey, Glad you could make it. Rick, I didn't get a chance to talk to you at Forrester. How have you been? Good. School's keeping me busy. Um, I don't have to ask how you are. Mm, she's got that honeymoon glow. <laughs> yeah, well, your brother is responsible for that. Uh-uh. <clears throat> so you guys want something to drink? Water. Okay. Yeah, yeah, water. All right. Thank you. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, there's my dad. Hi, Eric. Clark. Hello. Hi. So, uh, I don't see um, Stephanie around. Did she come with you, or...? No, she's at the hospital visiting a friend. Oh, well, that's just like her, but it is a shame, you know? Because I think she would enjoy, almost more than any of the rest of us, seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> They're good together, aren't they? Yes, they are, Eric. Okay, the waters. Thank hey, you. everybody. The chef has informed me that dinner will be served thank shortly. Bravo. Oh, yeah. But while I have your attention, I want to thank everybody for coming. Oh, darling, thank you. Thank you for allowing us to come. Because I know none of us would want to be any place but here. Because this is the perfect place for a wedding reception, or as close as we're ever going to get to one for you two. <laughs> I wouldn't call it that. And since we don't get a first dance or we don't get confetti, can we at least have a kiss between the bride and groom? Yes. yes. Well, I guess we don't want to disappoint anybody here. Come on, come on. <laughs> 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 Want yet? Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna have to ask the waiter to translate here for me. Oh, you can ask me. I, I know French. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Miss French girl. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, under hors d'oeuvres, uh, the Kai Farsi. Oh, it is so good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's um, pig's knuckles. Pig's knuckles. Well, it sounds terrible, but you'll love it. You know, I, th I think I'm gonna pass on that. <sighs> uh, okay, let's see. Uh, the sweet refoie. Well, uh, sweet means hearts. Okay, makes sense. And foie means frogs. Hearts of frogs? Mm-hmm, but you better make sure they're fresh. Fresh. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, you can walk home. I got the car keys. Oh, it's not my fault you're so gullible. Yeah, okay, Miss Smarty Pants. What are they really? I have no idea. Ah, see? Busted. <laughs> Keep it down. We're gonna kick down here. Oh, we can always try it. Something new. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Uh. I know what a frightening time this is. Are those, um, are those my test results? Yes, and I would like you to sit down with me so I can explain to you. Um, just tell me, do I have it, doctor? Do I have cancer? The tests confirm my suspicion, Becky. Yes. Becky, I am so sorry.
CJ, this place is so elegant. Yeah, it's nice, huh? I mean, I, I'm sure you and Rick come here all the time. Well, I mean, Rick does. I mean, I only came here a couple times when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, my mom used to bring me here to give me <laughs> etiquette lessons. Oh, that is so cute. Mm. Little CJ minding his manners. Yeah, I had a real good time. Did she make you take dancing lessons, too? <laughs> you know, I could tell you that, but then I'd have to kill you. Mm. Come on, you can tell me. I want to know all your deep, dark secrets. Oh, mm, do you? Mm-hmm. How about uh, you tell me yours, and I'll tell you mine? Really? Sure. <laughs> well, I can tell you that my deep, dark secrets have never included coming to a place like this. If I were you, I'd come here every chance I got. Well, that's not that special. It isn't? No. What's really special about it is having you to share it with. I don't believe you. I want a second opinion. That's fine. I would too in your situation. But we need to talk about your condition. What your next step should be. So please come and have a seat. These are the images from your CT scan. They're a collection of x-rays. They give us a very detailed picture. Now, the pear-shaped organ here, that's your pancreas. I don't even know what that is. It makes the juices that help you digest food. But it hasn't been able to do that very well because of this tumor. You see it? How did I get there? I, I don't have any answers for you. I mean, there, there are risk factors. Genetic predisposition, high-fat diet, smoking. But this kind of cancer almost never happens to someone your, your age. The tumor is malignant, which means it's invading and destroying other tissues. It's interfering with your digestion. That's, that's why you've lost weight. And the pressure on your nerves and other organs is causing the pain. So what do we do? Chemo? Well, that's your decision, but I, I don't recommend it. Then what? Can't you just take it out? You remember I explained the survival rates for pancreatic cancer are, are very low. I don't care! I don't care! You have to try something! No, if we there had must caught be it sooner! No, no, but you didn't catch it sooner. You caught it now, so what do we do? The cancer has been growing inside you for months now. It spread to your stomach. You're in stage four. Stage four? Stage four? What does stage four mean? Four is the most advanced stage. There are things that we can do to make you more comfortable. To ease the pain. But aside from that, I can't offer you much hope. Becky, I am so sorry.
Macy, I love this place. I love it down here. And a party at the beach, what could be better? Come here, sir. I, uh, hope Stephanie's friend's all right. Oh, she will be. It's just that it's major surgery. Stephanie wanted to be there. I understand. Thanks. Tell her she was missed, though. I'll be sure and tell her that. I will also be sure and tell her how well you and Thorne are doing. Well, she is our biggest fan. <laughs> she is, you know. Although you have a lot of fans in this family. Thank you. Thorne is completely different now than he was a couple of months ago, and I attribute all of that to you. Yeah, he was telling me something like that a little earlier. Well, you know, the whole family was worried about him. Yes, I was too, actually. That's why I went to Venice. Thank God you did. It's amazing, you know, how, uh, how life depends on one little decision or one little moment in time. Yeah, but I think we would have worked things out together anyway. You know, some things are just meant to be. Rick, somebody could walk in. They won't. You don't know that. We're not doing anything wrong. This is actually kind of exciting. There's a party going on outside. We're in here. I'll get you one. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Dad. Uh, you're about to miss the barbecue. Hey, Dad. How are things in Paris? Things have gotten complicated. Look, is Mother with you? No, she's not. She's visiting a friend. Will you tell her when you see her that I want to talk to her? Ridge, what the hell is going on between you and your mother? I mean, she... She won't tell me anything. I'm not surprised about that. Well, she was very upset after your last phone call. Ridge, listen to me. Every time I see Macy and I'm reminded of how delicate your mother's condition really is. Dad, I've done more than anyone to protect her condition. And all of it, everything I ever did, was to make sure that Thorne and Macy got back together. Hey, Sally. How you doing? I'm okay, Thorn. You heard from Adam? No. But then I never really expected to hear from him, you know? Hey. I'm sure he's watching over you. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. It's okay. I'm gonna be okay. And I'll tell you something. Seeing you and Macy so happy together, that is the best possible medicine you could give me for my broken heart. Thank you, Fawn. Thank you. I wish you could see Thorne and Macy tonight. I mean, it's so obvious that they belong together. I'm just glad they're doing so well. Well, you can take credit for that. Hey, I had no idea that Macy was going to be in Venice. 
Well, none of us did. But the fact remains that if you hadn't done what you did, Dorn never would have proposed to Macy. Stuffed quail. Thank you. And for the lady, the specialty of the house. Thanks. Okay, let's dig in. What is this? You like them? Beautiful. I'll try them on. You shouldn't be doing this. No, no, Becky. I want to do this. It, it makes me happy to do this. I mean, when I saw those, I knew that they were yours. I just knew it. I mean, look at them. The way they sparkle. They sparkle just like your eyes do. I've never had anything like this before. weren't that expensive. I'm not talking about the earrings. I'm talking about you. How much time? Becky, every case is different. And yours is so atypical. How long? With the disease in such an advanced stage. I'd have to say maybe six months. Is there someone that you can talk to, a, a, a friend, a family member? My cousin. My cousin is my best friend. Do you want me to tell her? No. No, God, no. No, I, I have to be the one to tell her. <laughs> 